Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for the market recap. And if you're interested in any of the services I provide, make sure to check out the links in the description below for both the Patreon and Discord. And quick reminder, we are still in the swing trade service free trial in the Discord. So that's for both uh, cryptos and stocks. And that's going all the way through until the end of this month. So make sure if you're not in the Discord, be in the Discord. And if you are in the Discord, make sure to take a look at those trades. Maybe take a couple if you'd like. We have been absolutely on fire. We have not lost a single trade this month. We haven't really lost a single trade in the entire year for both crypto and stocks. And now it's free right now. Man, what a good bargain that is. And if you do like the service going forward, it's only $15 a month. So please take a quick look at that. And also, if you want to learn how I trade, I do tutoring sessions, $100 a session. And I even have a deal where you can pay for the month, pretty much $300 for the month. You get three sessions paid, one session free. So $300 for four sessions. Okay, enough with the shilling. Let's get into the charts. So looking at the dollar, we are trading back into the blue zone here, the bottom side of this blue zone. As you can see, we had a really nice wick on the daily here, came all the way down to about 105.379, and then got bought right back up into this blue zone here, as low as 106. 560 so so far so good i'm liking what i'm seeing again it's very likely we do have a buy up at some point back towards this fair value gap towards the top of this blue zone or even all the way towards the bottom end of this descending bullish structure that we broke bearish so watch for retracement higher however that does not mean we can't see downside in the short term first but before we do break i would say this level here so these lows down here and really this low structure this low zone here at 102.710 before that's lost i do i do see a retracement back up towards this fair value gap at some point and then a failure okay so we could see something kind of in this vein so let's draw this out so something like this over the next coming weeks or something like this and then a pop back up back to the blue zone and then eventually you know testing out this fair value gap and then failing down because we do want to see some of this imbalance here get taken out before continuation down where i do think ultimately we're going to see the dollar come back towards this ascending trend line here and because the dollar is likely going to hold this uptrend watch for this ascending trend line to hold okay now it doesn't mean a hold forever but we do have to have the bias that it will, especially after such a big move up. I mean, the character has changed on both the weekly and monthly to the bullish side for the dollar. And uh, we want to we want to see that structure hold if we're going to see a, a, you know, a bullish dollar going into the rest of uh, this uh, this coming decade, essentially. Um, and uh, yeah, so if that happens, if we do get that move to the upside, watch for some pressure in the equities and crypto markets but if we do have a continuation let's just say down uh you know down tomorrow or the you know rest of this week watch for another pop-up i am leaning more towards some more downside okay but we are you know getting very close to a nice little pop-up back into this fair value gap back towards 108 ish all right now let's go into the dow take a look at what's going on today so Dow, again, doing kind of what we've been expecting. You know, it's in that potential bullish consolidation structure. It's very, very early, so we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. But I am liking what I'm seeing, potential flaggish structure being built here. And we'll see if it holds this fair value gap. It's already wicked into it yesterday, technically uh, today. Again, the daily candle just closed not too long ago. So, uh, you know, it did wick into it today. Uh, so we'll see if this holds and then has that continuation up to the higher fair value gap right over here to fill out this imbalance and grab the liquidity that's resided here. If we do break down, watch for the breakdown back towards this descending trend line. Next is the S&P. So S&P had a nice wake up today and it came right back down. And this is looking more and more like a consolidation. And we have to have a bullish bias on the consolidation as well. Very flaggy, nice, nice pull here. And if this does mature into an actual bull flag, then we can look for a really, really nice move, probably going all the way up towards 42, 45. The way you want to measure that out, you take the flag pole, okay, 
draw from the top to the to the bottom wait look for a zone where it would break out from so if we had more information here uh, then we would look for the place where it breaks out from the top side of the flag so that could be anywhere from like right here right here depends on where we're at we'll just go from right here the high right here then you're looking at just under 42.45 so really really nice potentially uh in s p for more upside here we're just going to have to go through a couple more days potentially maybe even the rest of this week <clears throat> you know for this to play out and then maybe next week we'll have a bullish day a bullish a bullish couple of days to play out this uh this structure that might be forming it's very immature but i am seeing signs of a potential uh bull flag next is nasdaq let's take a look at the nasdaq so Nasdaq was very interesting today. Did get a move up beyond the trend line here, but you got to be wary of it, okay? Because it's not completely confirmed. Because remember, my definition of a breakout is to see the high of the daily candle that broke the level to be taken out and closed above. So that means the next some daily candle after this daily candle here, we want to see this high taken out. If we do see that high get taken out and then closed above, that to me is a validation of a breakout and we'll probably see that move going to the green zone so the green zone is the mo more conservative target then we have this fair value gap here and then if we get the full extension the one-to-one -one from the channel from the high side to the bottom side of the channel we're looking at uh, a move back to the orange zone now let's head on to oil let's take a look at oil <clears throat> Again, trading within this structure that it's building, we do want to have a bias again towards, I think it's more bullish than bearish until otherwise, but it has lost some, some levels here. So this ascending trend line here was technically lost. We did break down, come test it out, tested this fair value gap, and we could see that continuation lower. But until really these low wicks are taken out and this level here at 84.48 is taken out, I have to assume that we're going to likely just kind of trade upside of this, uh, you know, right at the, the upside to the bottom side of this ascending trend line all the way back towards 95. Um, so you just have to just have to keep that in mind. But it did technically break this structure here which is you know is somewhat of a bearish uh, uh a bias in the short term but you know, fundamentally there are signs that oil uh may actually <clears throat> you know start shooting up if uh, tensions continue to rise in europe all right so next we're going to be looking at gold and silver okay so gold and silver let's hop into gold so gold having that continuation really really nice so it actually was able to break out a little bit higher it is slowing down even now though we did have this was a nice daily candle that did close above this doji candle so that's a good sign that we uh you know we may have another rally on our hands but this sort of you know, these candles they are slowing down just take a look you have this massive rise rest rest period another big rise rest period another big big rise rest period uh and then after that we had a, a nice continuation candle then this doji i would say is more of a rest period candle potentially uh it was uh implying a possible retracement back to the fair value gap then we had a nice daily candle today closed above the high so that's very good it, it does keep momentum on the side of a bullish impulse higher but it's a lot smaller compared to the last couple candles we've had right so we are slowing down though we are still so showing good signs of some continuation up unless we get a really bullish day let's say you know tomorrow um we're likely going to you know start going into some sort of bullish consolidation um whether that's a rising pennant or a uh, descending bull flag but overall i like what i'm seeing and again we're targeting you want to see these highs over here get taken out pretty much 1800 to 1810 next is silver <clears throat> so silver had a bearish engulfing candle so and again showing signs potentially of a topping structure i actually kept the uh the fib on from the last recap we'll take that off now and it came back to where the top of the microphone structure so help that and so far we're trading above that Again, this last candle does imply that we are going to have a retracement. And if gold is also slowing down, watch for that to happen in silver. But overall, we have to have a bullish bias. I mean, it did take out the highs, did make a higher low. And if it comes back down to this fair value gap um, and, and it holds this level or even this ascending trend line and holds the level, it's just another higher low. So overall, I like how silver looks. Again, that's only if gold stays as bullish as it has. All right, so now let's move on to Bitcoin. Let's see how Bitcoin is doing today. So Bitcoin still trading within the, these candles, so still consolidating. 
we'll actually take this uh, off here, just make it cleaner. And uh, so far, you know, the daily candle just closed 10 minutes ago for, for Bitcoin. And not a bad daily candle, but again, it's within this consolidation, still with uh, under this trend line here. Uh, d considering how it looks, you know, if it does veer to the upside a little bit more, it's going to start looking like a bear flag. So you got to be very careful with that. Um, it does have a bearish bias. Uh, you, you're going to have a bearish bias after such a massive drop. But if we do have a bear flag, what we're looking for, ideally, you know, as swing traders, we would like to see it kind of veer to the upside and get closer and closer towards this fair value gap zone, or at least the bottom of this range. That way, you know, you could look for high probability shorts at that level. Or, you know, if you're in a long like us, again, all the trades are public right now during the free trial for... Uh, for the month in, in the Discord. So the Swing Trade Service is still in that free trial. Make sure to be in there. Um, we are still long. So if we do come toward, back towards this level, we're coming right back into, you know, about into the profit zone if we start coming into this fair value gap. So we do ideally want to see that. But if we do break down, again, we have those levels. We're looking at the 15,000, 14,000, potentially all the way back down towards 12,000. But watch as Bitcoin continues to mature out. If we do continue to make a high past this level here so past the high wick right here at 18,154 and then also past this level at 17,645 watch for a move back down and if we hold this descending trend line that will imply a much bigger move up to try and eat away as much of this imbalance as we've made as possible okay so we have potentially signs where bitcoin can have a nice pop after such a big drop from the FTX scandal, but you do want to have the, the bearish bias. So the floor can get taken out at any point. And if the dollar does start getting very strong, very fast, Bitcoin will become very, very cheap. All right, everyone, that's it for the market recap. Like I've mentioned in the past, uh, in, the, in the beginning of this video and in the past recaps, make sure to be in the discord, check out the services, especially if you want to learn how to trade. Uh, my, my tutorings are quite easy. Uh, but they're very, very valuable, and I believe they can pretty much work whether you're scalping or swing trading. Um, and again, if you have any questions, best way to get in contact with me is in the Discord. All right, everyone, remember, be patient, be vigilant, and be nimble. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.